Hey everybody, so for today's scary story I wanted to tell you about the bridal shop corpse. For the past 75 years there has been this tiny little bridal shop in Mexico and in the shop window there's been this extremely very well detailed mannequin modeling a wedding dress. Now it's been rumored after hearing voices and having cold spots and having some paranormal things happen to people that maybe this mannequin is a little too real and might might actually be a mummified corpse. The tale began March 25th of 1930 when the mannequin was first placed in the shop window. Immediately locals knew something was off with this mannequin. Before long, rumors and tales of this mannequin spread like wildfire and visitors from all over came to gaze and look at this mannequin and just to the, the detail of the wrinkles of her on her face and on her hands and her human hair and the, the way she looked out with such a gaze through her glass eyes. I'm gonna read this as best I can. I'm probably going to pronounce these names wrong so feel free to correct me since I not very good at this, at this part of it. Um, eventually people began to notice the similarities between the mannequin nicknamed La Pasculita and the daughter of La Popular's, which is the La Popular is the name of the bridal shop, uh, the, uh, uh, the daughter of the proprietor, uh, Pascuala Esparza. Oh man, this is um, awful. <laughs> According to the legend, Esparza's daughter had tragically passed away on her wedding day, victim of a black widow spider bite. Locals whispered that the beautiful figure in the window was in fact the embalmed body of Espar Esparza's daughter. More and more the details began to make sense, and the townspeople became outraged, of course. Uh, Pas Pascuala Esparza formally denied the allegations, but by the but by that point it was too late. The legend was set in stone. Still to this day, that mannequin is still in the window, displayed for all to see. And out of all the employees that work at this bridal shop, only two are allowed to change the clothes and the attire of this mannequin. But they can only do it behind closed doors hidden away where no one else can see. And that in itself has a lot of the employees there kind of a little perplexed and a little, I don't know, freaked out a bit. A lot of the employees say that when they come close to the mannequin that their hands break out in a cold sweat or a lot of them have also said that they've opened up the shop and like the next morning and she's changed positions. Some even say that her eyes seem to follow them around the store as they're cleaning or picking up or closing for the night. Some visitors come and leave candles of, you know, remembrance or respect or even guidance in love uh, uh, in front of the window where her body is displayed. Many of the brides that come to the shop to buy a wedding dress pretty much let the mannequin decide on the dress that they're gonna wear. They'll most most likely pick the dress that she is wearing. So is this mannequin, in fact, an embalmed human body? Some say no, especially experts. Uh, experts that say that keeping the upkeep of a corpse is very difficult. I don't know, you tell me. Do you think it's a real body? Do you think it's just a really well-detailed work of art? <laughs> Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think and I will talk to you guys later.